What's going on? Today we have a new project in store. Whether or not we need to find out if this is a project we could sink our hard earned money into, it's called Cryptex. Okay, I know nothing about this project, but I do know that I need to figure out whether or not this is something that I need to get into. We have the head of business development in Cryptex here. His name is Vitaly. I'm going to call him V for short. And uh, he's here to we're going to put him in the hot seat. We're going to figure out, hey, are you someone we could trust? Is this project something we could trust? Is this project like a long-term project or is this like a meme, whatever, you know, a pump and dump? I don't, I don't even know. And uh, you and I are going to try to get to the bottom of this today. My name is Aaron. If you're new to this channel, I'm on a journey to one Bitcoin. I'm a brand new crypto investor, okay? I am not your financial advisor. I don't give financial advice. I'm a cowboy, all right? I give cowboy advice, all right? So I'm a cowboy with a little lizard brain, gorilla arms, and diamond hands, and I'm, and I'm just exploring the wild west of cryptocurrency. So if you want to follow along with me in that journey, hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell for any new updated content. And of course, give me a like on this video if you find this video helpful, if you want to help me grow this channel, and most of all, if if you want to be a generous person today, that would be very generous of you to do. Now, a little bit of background of, of what this is. This is a long form interview content style. Um, and, and I think that you, we do these to really get to know someone. Like it's a really belly to belly type of thing. I, I can really know and get into the brain of someone in just a long form content. Uh, because there's a lot of YouTube shillers out there that get paid for these promotions and developers aren't even happy with them because they're yawning. They're paying like two grand, three grand upwards to for these guys. I know the prices, man. They, they, I'm just letting you know the prices. And they're not even happy with them. So in this kind of video, I think it's a three win, 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 win project is that, hey, the developer gets to defend their project with insight and energy and zest. I get compensated and removed as a third party so I don't have to pull any punches. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm trying to get to the bottom of this just like you. I don't have any money involved. I don't have any, I, I'm not invested in them. Like there's nothing with that. So uh, I'm very, very, I'm, I'm as unbiased as I possibly can be. And third, you and I get to get to the bottom of this. We get better information than what I believe is on websites. You know, we get to talk to the head of BizDev in this case. And so we have Vitaly on this project. A lot of these projects out here, they, they ask me for promotions and they're not willing to put their face on it. But, but V's like, look, I'm so proud of my project. I'm not only willing to put my face on it, I'm willing to try to convince you to put your money in it, to put your money and trust into the team and to this project because I believe in it that much. So V, welcome to the show. You're in the hot seat. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's a pleasure being here. Hello to all of your viewers, subscribers. Um, make sure to appreciate Aaron by liking this video in advance, and I hope it's going to be awesome. Let's yeah, go. yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad, V. So thank you so much. So before we get into Cryptex, okay, I got to get into who you are as a person. Give me a little bit of background story of who is V and what you're all about, and then we could talk about your project. Sure. Um, so I am uh, I'm engineer by, uh, by training and actually uh, the whole core team, uh, the Hashic team it used to be uh, Hashix and it still is, but we are talking about one of our projects, Cryptex, today. So uh, the core team of Hashix are nerdy, hardcore developers that, uh, that, that were enjoying the overall uh, industry of blockchain, got in there relatively early on. We started, uh, we started as outsourcers, so we were helping other teams to develop their, their projects, their um, architecture of their projects, and uh, security, uh, security audits. So we started focusing on security audits probably three years, uh, three years back, and we conducted more than 200 uh, audits, security audits since then. And uh, of course, we we had our own ideas and our own um, vision for the products. And uh, today we're talking about Cryptex. Cryptex is our product. It uh, provides um, uh, it provides uh, smart liquidity locking, team talk investing, uh, automated smart contract audits. We are working on this tool right now, and other other financial related um, tools for for blockchain. Uh, Got it. So let, let me just recap who you are for a second. You're an uh, engineer and you're with a team of engineers called HashX. That's like the team name. And, uh, you know, all these brilliant nerdy guys get together and they're developing uh, these apps for other projects, you know, and, and or dApps rather for these other projects. And you've always been that source of like being outsourced to. But you always had your That's own like. 
Yeah, that's how it started. But you always had your own aspirations. But as you got a, got a lot more uh, projects under your belt, you started specializing in security audits. You did over 200 security audits. So that's a lot of experience you're bringing. You've seen over 200 different ways, like security protocols and all this kind of nerdy stuff that this little lizard brain can't understand, right? But you got all these projects and now you started developing your own projects. And this one is today's Cryptex and it's a liquidity locker and a, a DeFi, DeFi tools basically for, or tools for DeFi projects. Is that correct? Yeah, it's fair to say that. Uh, Locker being our main uh, main product, so this is like a headliner. But uh, we are constantly thinking what what else could we add to it in order to make it more appealing to, to clients. Gotcha. So could you explain to me really quickly what is liquidity? What's a liquidity locker? Like I, I need, you know, I, I'm just a brand new investor. I, I have a whole bunch of brand new investors. Explain that whole thing to me if you can very simply. Sure. So um, think about, um, I don't want to mention like a lot of, uh, a lot of names here, but think about the DeFi project, right? So think about uh, a project that uh, like, uh, like a pancakes web, for example, that allows mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, that allows to exchange, um, to exchange tokens uh, from one token to another token, right? But in order to get to, but in order to get there, they need to have some, uh, some, some investments you really want in order to get uh, to get the balance. So mm -hmm. uh, so someone needs to put in their bitcoins or Ethereum in that particular case in order to provide uh, provide liquidity liquidity pool, yep. right? And uh, in worst case scenario, what might happen uh, if you are talking about like bad actors here? They can see that uh, investors. Uh, put in like relatively big amount of Ethereum and they can pull it pull it out. That is called rock pool, right? And what it uh, what it does in this case, uh, the price of the token goes uh, goes ultimately to zero. Okay. So that basically hurts all the investors uh, all the investors all over. So how do you um, how do you protect investors from, from, from these schemes, right? One of the ways is to use uh, liquidity lockers like Cryptex, right? So what it does, uh, it basically puts those liquidity tokens into, into a vault, right? Which, which Cryptex is. It is a smart contract, uh, or it is a smart contract. And it's transparent, so everyone can take a look and see uh, that project has put those liquidity tokens or so investing tokens under the smart contract and those tokens are being locked and they won't be unlocked until let's say one year two years or actually we have some projects who lock their tokens for more than 200 years 200 years okay so that's that forever was, yeah forever yeah pretty much so they 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 by doing that they're showing the investors um, significant amount of confidence that they believe in the in the project, and uh, they're showing that we are not going to pull back those money, so they're safe and, and they're locked, right? So it's not like someone within the team can can rug pull them. Gotcha. Yeah, in a world full of hu just a ton of rug pulls. Yesterday, I came across two rug pulls, right? Uh, and so it's just like, and the the Titan one, and there's a Cheetah one. It's just, it's incredible how many scams and rug pulls are going on right now in crypto. Um, as I'm just taking notes here, like what, what is the heart behind it? Well, like why, why did you guys choose out of all the specialties? Why liquidity locker? Well, uh, we saw an opportunity pretty much, right? So we, uh, we saw, um, we saw a need, uh, both from project side and investor side that they need to have some sort of uh, some sort of, some sort of warranty from the project and that it's not going to be rug pull and how do you do that uh, all those all those projects that seem to be very trustworthy at least uh, from the first glance uh, they would say we will never rug pull we will never convert tokens we will never do this and that and so on and so forth but this is uh, well this is merely a word right yeah uh, what we are doing, we are providing a hard-coded smart contract, coded smart contract. That uh, <laughs> that's that's the beauty of a blockchain. That's the beauty of a mass in itself. It's science. That it's impossible to fake this particular part, right? And yeah. when you put your money where your mouth is, 
when you are being a project, right? So basically, you're saying, yep. okay, so I'm, I'm, I will not do that. And in order to prove that, I will take this amount of money and put it in a third-party locker, in a third-party wall, right? So gotcha. my investors, they're safe, right? So they can see yep. that I'm not able to use this money. And it's not only because I'm telling them that. It's also because I, I'm, I'm fi- well, physically putting them in there. So it cannot right. be locked until a certain, uh, a certain time hits. So I, I'm not familiar with the space of, you don't have to mention any competitors, but how many, how many competitors do you have? As, like, how big is the liquidity locker? How many options do I have to choose from? Uh, the, there are some. So okay. um, not like, not a bunch, but uh, there are a few. Uh, and uh, yeah. If What's a few? About, like 10, 5, uh, Well, I would say less than five that you really want to consider when, 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 when. Gotcha. Okay. So let's say you're one of five liquidity rounds. So I'm a developer of a coin, right? Mm -hmm. And I want to win. This is the use case. I'm a developer of the coin. I'm going to call it the lizard brain coin and the lizard brain coin. uh, I want to try to, (laughs) I want to try to earn the trust of my community. Uh, And so I need to lock up my liquidity in a liquidity locker. I'm looking at five different options here and cryptex stands out what what is what makes you different from the other four mm-hmm. well uh let me tell uh let me tell you first what makes us different from from the rest of 95 percent of the market in the first place sure but we are we are non we are non pyramid model right so we are not uh, we are not supported by uh, by by all those dirty schemes and everything right uh, and let's say there are a few few projects that are also trustworthy and honest uh, what we bring to the table we have some decent uh, decent history in in a space so we've been around for for a while now we we've conducted uh, multiple audits that that, that went public on uh, on our website as well as our uh, clients' websites, so we have some decent history and we have reputation on the market, right? Uh, and uh, what makes it fair uh, from a project standpoint of view? We have uh, we are relatively cheap, if you if you will. So we are very straightforward about our pricing model, and it's very affordable for uh, for a project. Awesome. Okay, so I, I love that you you bring an experience, you have a reputation, you have a long history in the in the space, and um, you're affordable. Got it? That makes sense. That, that, it's just I'm trying to figure out like where I'm placing you guys, and especially at one out of five. That seems like like when you said there's that's a huge opportunity. That's a big opportunity. There are hundreds and thousands of these new crypto projects being released. Every day, my head is spinning. I don't have enough time to make all these videos on, and half of them I go on. Uh, I, like I'm making a video on like these meme coins, and I'm like, "Gosh, all these things are the same. There's like, there's no security. There's nothing." And then, and then I go ahead and I flame it on my video. Then, then the people of the community thumb it down, and I'm like, "What the?" World? And so when you when you're bringing into uh, the table here is you're bringing in trust is what you're really saying. You're not just bringing a, a tool for DeFi. You're selling, hey, you want to win over a community? You want to build trust with the community? Use this, use this liquidity locker. Gotcha. I, 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 think, it, I think it's awesome um, to, to, to see what, what you offer to the table here. What's been the biggest, um, what's been the biggest challenge here for you in bringing up or, or starting this project? Uh, well, I would say probably taking off. So uh, as, as most of the projects these days, uh, the very first steps, making sure like that we are moving in the right, uh, in the right direction, that it's right uh, um, to gain first customers, that kind of stuff, right? So and um, making sure that we are moving in the right direction, right? We don't want to, <laughs> how should I put it? We don't want to lock ourselves in a locker product only. So we want to add more, uh, more financial tools. Uh, yeah. To- our uh, product line, uh, but Locker definitely being uh, being the top and most uh, most uh, the highest demand. The, the, the premier, area. gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, so right now, uh, if if I may, so right now we have uh, more than one hundred eighty uh, 
teams who locked their tokens with us and wow. all, in all, uh, all in all it's more than 160 million US dollar worth of tokens being locked with with our uh, with our product. Wow. So you have 180 teams um with a hun- locking up about 160 million US dollars worth of tokens. Quite right. Wow. How how old is the project? Uh well, it's less than a year. Less than a year. Okay. Mm-hmm. And um, so what are you doing? Probably about uh, 50, on average, about 15 or so projects a, a month? Well, uh, recent, months were, uh, recent months were probably uh, the biggest, so it's not linear. So it's more of a hockey stick. If right, you, yeah, on average. Yeah. More, um, well, I want to say that last month we've made... Uh, um, I need to double check it, but I want to say it's, it was a, probably around forty projects that were that locked. Forty, forty, and then uh, probably the month before what? Probably about thirty. Oh, so yeah, yeah. So okay, so we're seeing scaling growth here, which is great. I love that. Um, yeah. So and so next month you could probably expect to do fifty and so on, and so forth. Maybe sixty, seventy the, the month after that. Fingers crossed. Awesome. But but let's see how it goes. Yeah. So, okay. So you're saying that Cryptex is like um, a product, but it's the main feature of that product is the liquidity locker. Mm -hmm. What are some other features that you're looking to input? You you said several times that, hey, you know what, we're going to add more tools to this thing. Uh, What are some of those tools? So right now we work on uh, on a Binance Smart Chain. So we are providing uh, we are providing uh, liquidity lock for uh, for this uh, for this chain only, uh, and we are constantly brainstorming with the team: should we expand to other networks? Uh, should we add other tools, uh, other financial tools, uh, or maybe internal exchange from 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 our clients' tokens or something like that? So it's up on the table. It's uh, it's uh, it's always there, and I would love to hear back from your community and see what they are most interested in. Uh, and uh, of course, we have a uh, few projects in our uh, in our roadmap. Uh, for example, automated smart contract audits. So we wanna we wanna conduct uh, conduct this those uh, those features as well. And probably I also should mention uh, our own token, CRX token uh, staking. That uh, that allows. Oh, you have your own token. Hmm. We do. Great. Yes, we do. Yeah, and uh, and probably it's gonna be interesting for um, for retail investor of yours uh, who decide to invest in our project and buy CRX token. Gotcha. Uh, that probably has governance attached to it too, right? Like you, you, we get to choose and pick and, and decide and all that kind of stuff or vote uh, on stuff. It's uh, so it's in a, in a, it's within our pricing model, but basically, yeah, if a project pays uh, in CRX tokens, it's going to be cheaper for them to, to lock, uh, to lock the liquidity. Mm, gotcha. What, what is like, I know you said you want to hear back from the community, but what is something <laughs> that you'd like to see added to Cryptex? Because here's the thing. I, I, as a YouTuber, I see a lot of projects and these, a lot of these projects come to me and half of them aren't even audited. And so I had the idea, the crazy idea with zero background in, in engineering and zero background in security is to, Hey, you know what? I think, uh, I think I want to start an auditing company. And you just, you did that. You have that, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's, it's a security company. It's a trust company is what, what it really is. What what is your take on the current space of all these meme coins and tokens and uh, what, what's your take on all of this right now? Because it's crazy. Uh, it is crazy. That's for sure. I would not argue with that. Uh, however, I think that we uh, we as a uh, as a blockchain industry made a significant. Uh, significant progress over the last uh, five, four years, or even for the last couple of years, right? So there are still a lot of uh, bad actors in the field. However, I feel like the quantity, the quantity is decreasing. Yet, mm. there are still uh, problems in, uh, in a space uh, related with uh, uneducated investors, related to poor um, poor technology 
and uh, having like some holes in in uh, in smart contracts and that kind of stuff. So uh, I still feel that we have a long way for us to go as as an industry as a whole. Gotcha. Uh, but I do believe that we've we've matured a lot over the last couple of years. Yeah, I, I think so too. Um, if you were to paint for me a ideal picture, like what is the future vision that you'd want, the ideal vision of what you'd want to see Cryptex as, seen as, or even HashX, right? What is that like ideal future for you? Like paint me a picture of like, where are you taking me as an investor, as someone who's part of this project? Uh, well, I would say that uh, from our project standpoint of view, uh, the ideal world uh, is when an ordinary person like retail, uh, not even an investor, but a retail user uh, can be can be assured that he is using a D app without any concern of being scammed or rugged or or some some other bad stuff happening to him. Because that's actually that's actually what um, what separates us from uh, from mass adoption in a sense, right? Because uh, if you go out on the street and ask like people about like Bitcoin, blockchain industry, and whatever, you will still have significant amount of people people talking that it is all scam and I don't believe in it and <laughs> force. Right. And I mean, uh, but once the very same people they will have on their phones, they will have uh, they will have an app that use blockchain in its own core and they see why it's important to use it, well, not important, why it's easy to use and how convenient it is and so on and so forth, they, uh, they, they'll be happy about it because that's going to be their ordinary, uh, ordinary life. Uh, yeah. But from our point of view, from our perspective, it's important to make sure that those people are not getting scammed, that they don't get, get racked, that they, 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 they will not face all those... Uh, backed actors in in action right so yeah. we are focusing on security and we are focusing on uh, on delivering trustworthy to the industry we believe that wow. uh, in a sense it's our mission to make sure that there are more and more people who are using uh blockchain d apps blockchain products uh, without any concerns without any i back end. love i love that vision i love the vision and here's why i love the vision is because I have got those friends who say Bitcoin's a scam. It's all like I've got those people in my life who I care about. It's all a scam. Don't I don't trust it. I can't. Invite. And then I know, like just like you, I see the I see the future. The future is blockchain. The future is DeFi. This is the future. But to get us there, we need certain security parameters. These these trustworthy like we need trust for them for to, for someone to say. And I love the way you said it. I want to turn someone who thinks it's a scam to just like not even thinking about the security. Like they're so trust trusting of like a, a DAP that is so secure. And and that bridge is what, you know, Cryptex, I see Cryptex trying to trying to fill that void and fill that bridge. I, I mean, I love that. I love that vision. Um, I think it's right in line of how I think that crypto is the future financial uh, systems of the world. So yeah, I mean, I really do. I like that. Um, so I got a couple of questions here uh, that might be a little uh, cutting here, so I, I just to forewarn you here. Uh, have you ever been scammed before in crypto? Uh, yes, I have. Um, okay. Yeah, it was an embarrassing experience of mine. However, it's I, so embarrassing. <laughs> however, I still, I, I, I still, I still knew that uh, it was, it was for me like, do I trust this guy? Do I not? Like, no, I don't. Eighty percent, I don't. But I still feel like, okay, I'm gonna test it out, and I will, yeah. and I'll pay, and I paid. I want to say, uh, I don't remember exactly how much, but today in bitcoins it would be way more. <laughs> so <laughs> basically, but basically it was uh, so. Back in days, I personally was uh, was. Uh, was working uh, on my project, which was uh, arbitrage trading between exchanges, and I believe okay. like a lot of people were doing it back then. And uh, there was one guy uh, who claimed that he can provide me relatively genuine signals uh, of whale watching and stuff like that. And it was all cheesy and sounded also so so fake. But for whatever reason, I decided to 
check it out before I paid. But I knew I was I was about to lose my money. Oh man, you knew it right here, down in your gut. Yeah, that's what you're trying to do. Cryptex is trying to remove that. Like you don't you don't ever want to feel that queasy feeling about a project. Like if I see the Cryptex logo on here, audited by Cryptex, yeah, no problem. Sealed, signed, that's, sealed, delivered. That's uh, that's one of our uh, goals that we were uh, yeah. discussing in, in, in uh, within our team constantly. So we awesome. want uh, we want uh, Cryptex to become um, uh, we want to become the standard of security audits. So awesome. exactly as you said. When you see our badge, the badge of our team, the badge of our products on some other projects like our partners, clients, and so forth, and so on and so forth, you can basically uh, feel that is a warranty that it's safe because it was ordered gotcha. with us. That it was this project is uh, working with us, so we we love it. We're providing this battle, you know, that kind of stuff. Love it. I love it. Honestly, I, I do. I really do love it. I had this, like I said, I had the crazy idea of starting an auditing company and this is, you guys are doing it, which is great. Um, another one, you said you don't, your model here is not a pyramid model. Uh, how are you yourself? What's your investment? How are you being compensated? What, like what, what is your, what, what is your take in all of this? I, I don't, I don't understand that. Uh, well, it's straightforward. So, I mean, uh, if we are talking about uh, about um, uh, liquidity locking or investing locking, uh, we we are being paid by the project per per lock, in a sense. Gotcha. So there is a fee okay. associated to it, yeah. and mm -hmm. as I said, it's uh, it's affordable, uh, basically because it is. <laughs> so yeah. for team to develop something from scratch or going to competitors, if you will, it's gonna it's gonna cost them more. And we are providing gotcha. some some additional discounts and so on and so forth. Uh, but for us, the model is very straightforward. The more locks we have, the more we're gonna pay. But for us, it's pretty much the flat fee. Got it. Okay. And so, all right, I get that. Is is CRX? Is that liquidity? Is that locked? Uh, the CRX itself. Yeah, the token. The CRX tokens, yes. <laughs> Just yeah. making sure. Just making sure. You know what I mean? Love it. I love it. Okay, yeah, cool. And, uh, I got and, one. Yep. Uh, Go ahead. If, if if I may, so we uh -huh. also we also have uh, we also have vesting. Um, I'm sorry, not vesting. Uh, we also have staking uh, in place when our uh, our investors can uh, stake the CRX and they will receive uh, fifty percent of um, of the platform income. On top of their, uh, on top of their stakes, fifty percent. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot of percent. Of, well, fifty percent, fifty percent of the platform income. So let me be clear: it's not fifty percent of of of, of a token that they uh, right. That they it's like let's say we have one hundred audits this month. Yep. Whatever we accumulated from uh, in fees, fifty percent of that will be distributed yep. among uh, among the among yeah. the stakers. If we have only that's one. Well, they're going to be less, uh, less That's amount, incredible. but still, it's going to be fifty percent of distribution. Yeah, yeah. Sheesh. Um, of of the CRX token, how many are in Dev wallets? Uh, so there are. Uh, let me let me reverse. So there are only one hundred thousand uh, CRX tokens uh, available, and okay. in Dev wallets. Uh, that's an interesting question, but I don't remember from the top of my head be honest with you but it's not much it's not a bunch looking for a ratio yeah i just want to be yes i like i'm one i'm someone who believes that hey i fully believe i should compensate people who are doing good work they they deserve to be paid if they say they're not getting paid and they don't have any kind of uh self like you know compensation for it i don't trust it i <laughs> and this is me i'm like what is the incentive here and so i want i want to see good people get incentivized well uh, so of yeah Majority, majority of our people, uh, of our team members, including myself, we actually purchased uh, those CRX token, um, uh, as well as others. So we we, we didn't get any um, any um, discounts or additional benefits. So I personally gotcha. purchased it like like an ordinary investor. You know. Awesome, awesome, cool. Awesome. So I got one last question here and then we'll wrap up. But, uh, I'll ask the question, then I'll wrap up, then I'll give it to you. Uh, is there anything left 
that you'd you'd want to like leave us with to win me over like as a as a uh, you know little lizard brain who doesn't really understand all this stuff and I want to trust you right I'm in a world full of like scams what makes you guys different why should I be investing in you is there any like secrets you could pull out or any like hey you know what this is the future anything left on the table that we haven't covered the floor is open for you but before we get to that look if you followed along through this video enough my name is Aaron, I'm on a journey to one Bitcoin. This is V. He's the he's the head of business development from Cryptex, and we just look. We just want to thank you for watching so far. And you got to make your own decision, right? We're not financial advisors. This is not financial advice. Don't sue me, okay? I'm just a cowboy, okay? I have a little lizard brain with gorilla arms and diamond hands here. And so, uh, just hit subscribe button down below if you want to follow me on my journey to one Bitcoin. Hit the notification bell for any updated content, and of course, give us a like button if you feel if you're just a generous person today and you just want to give a like button. That'd be fantastic. Now, um, yeah, V, what do you want to leave us with here? What is like, why why should I be investing in you? And um, what makes like you know why should I be trusting you? Like just one last. If there's anything left that you haven't left on the table, please do it now. Well. Uh, let me put it this way. Um, <laughs> I'm a person of math, of science, and I'm trying to be as transparent as possible, right? So, and thank you, Aaron, for bringing all the energy and all the fire to this uh, to this ch to this chat. Uh, but my personal belief is that every person should do their own research. And I know that people hear that way often, and they don't pay attention to those words these days. But uh, you definitely should. You should do your own research and look us up. Look us up, Look at our history. Look how long we've been on the market. Look which projects we've been working with. And um, based on that, ask yourself a question: Do you do you feel inspired? Do you feel uh, do you feel that we are trustworthy in us, uh, enough? You know. So it's all about. Eventually, it's all about the trust. Right, and yeah. I yeah. cannot, uh, I cannot win your trust over this thirty minutes uh, interview. If I can, that's actually <laughs> should uh, should raise a red flag, right? So do your own research, uh, dive a little bit deeper, uh, study a little bit, and see what's what's actually uh, behind the hood, behind the scenes, and you will see that uh, we are we are crystal clear. We are just trying to make some money here. That's that's very straightforward. But simultaneously, we are trying to 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 gain some order, if you will, to to the blockchain industry. So that's what we are doing. And um, yeah, I hope you'll join us, and uh, you'll be uh, you'll be by our side on our on our journey and on Aaron's journey to his Bitcoin. Awesome, awesome. I love it. I love the whole project. I, I mean, I really do. I think I think more. Uh, more gov more uh, order, as you said, it is needed in these crazy. That this is the wild west. This is crazy, guys. Check the links in the description for their for their website and all that kind of all the info that you need to make a smart and wise decision for yourself. Anyway, guys, cowboys, lizard brains, gorilla arms, diamond hands. We'll see you guys on the moon. See ya.